All right, this is Dr. Rugenstein, and we are continuing our look at the different statuary and uh, grave markers and things of that nature that are used and what they mean. Now, this one is fairly interesting, and, and I'll talk about the truncated uh, tree stumps here in a second. Um, in the back, I believe this all goes with the Tompkins um, burial plot. At least that's what it looks like. Um, in the back here, we see a truncated uh, obelisk. And uh, we've already talked about obelisk before. Truncated is just a type of obelisk. And so by all means, go back and look at that one. The gravestone here is Ira Tompkins, 1838 to 1904. And that Tompkins right there says 1873. What is interesting is I think this one in the front here goes along with this this stone um, stump. I guess that's what you'd call it. Now what's interesting about these, these are known for quite a few different things. Originally it was known for uh, uh, through the south, marking historic graveyards for the grave, I should say grave, well graveyards of woodmen, woodmen of the world. Uh, it was a fraternal order that was established in 1890 by a guy named Joseph Cullen Root. So this is, these guys kind of predate that. So this might've been added later on. Um, tree shaped markers can be seen from quite a distance and, and this picks right up at it. Uh, the original group was called Woodmen of the World, number of splinter groups. Modern woodmen of the world, women of woodcraft, and neighbors of woodcraft. Um, symbolically now, the stones represent knowledge and life. Several branches represent a sh life cut short. And uh, I don't see an axe wedge here. But that usually stands for the works of, works of men. I don't see anything here like that. Unless that's what these these are supposed to represent in the front. But in any case. Uh, I don't see anything. Well, there's... There is a vine connected to it. And... Uh, that usually means something like uh, lilies for purity, ivy for friendship. So there we see ivy on there. So we see it means friendship. It's got a mushroom also, fungi. I don't see anything about that, but you can see the ivy there. So this would have been for woodmen of the world. Tompkins must have been one of them. Thomas Clark, number of other family members here. Something written on the back, but not too hard to see. This side over here is blank. But in any case, that's what these stumps mean. Woodmen of the world. So with that, uh, I'm just going to say goodbye. I hope you're enjoying this. I know I'm I'm kind of enjoying looking at the different things that are here So have a good day